Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about tonight is one of the most pivotal things that I've seen in years politically. Now, I'm sure you've heard about The Rock and how the left is pissed and the right is laughing about his whole not endorsing Biden anymore. This is so much bigger than that on a massive scale that even the left doesn't understand what's happening right now. We just watched the beginning of a, of a, a sea change politically in this country, and I'm about to show you the actual interview, some things you may not have seen, and also the response and tie this all together because this is a very key moment. So make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on, and please share this one out and let me know what you guys think in the comments field and if we landed this plane. And now, I've kind of got something i got to come clean with you guys on. It's something I've been kind of keeping away from you guys a little bit secret as I worked on this project in the background. When I was on the Sebastian Gorka show, he told me that I needed to start a podcast on the political side of things, general, because some of the views that we espouse in the gun rights fight would translate exceptionally well into the general politics fight to better our country and pass our blessings on to the next generation. And upon talking with him a lot more upon that, I took that advice. So this is where I need your guys' help. I've linked the new podcast, which is called Positively American, right down there. I've already got 10 episodes up, kind of did it on a sly, but I need your feedback on it. I need you guys to let me know what you think in the comments on that podcast. Listen to it. Give me any critique on it because I think that coming from the gun world fight, like we are every day in, day out, has so many parallels into what the left is doing to our rights in the mainstream politics that the fight that we've been hardening ourselves in is going to translate directly into the general politics and passing our country on, not only our gun rights on. They've made the monster that's going to undo them, and I'd love your help in fine-tuning that. So it's linked right down there in the description box, and thank you for every one of you who would give me a time and give me a little bit of chance to uh, branch out and give me some feedback, and I appreciate it in advance. But beautiful people, again, it is linked. Let's get into this because this is something that is so incredibly massive. And the episode that I did on my podcast today is about the same topic, but much longer form. Let me show you the first clip of The Rock here, Dwayne Johnson, talking about Biden. And then we're going to break it down because this is massive stuff right here, guys. To be real and to be direct and to be open and to be transparent. And as you and I have talked about, if you ask me a direct question, I'm always gonna give you a direct answer, whatever it is. And that's important to me and authenticity. We hear that word a lot, uh, but that's important to me. And I feel like, and I mean, we could go down the well here, but there's in today's easy cancel culture world and cancel culture, woke culture, this culture, that culture, division, etc. Uh, that really bugs me. And in the spirit of that, you either, in the spirit of that, you either succumb and be what you think other people want you to be, or you go, well, no, that's not who I am. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to be real. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to be real. Now, you didn't hear this clip and all of the fury from the left. We're going to break that down in a second. But he's talking about the divisive nature of politics. And like I said, I go into this a lot deeper on this podcast that's linked right down there. But when you're talking about a mainline superstar like Dwayne Johnson or Dwayne The Rock Johnson, however you want to refer to him, he's not pro 2A. He took all guns out of his videos. And that's fine. That's his choice. But there, that's, that's his creation, right? There's a difference between your own creation and actually pushing for gun control. Now, when he endorsed the Biden campaign, he put himself in a position where 50% liked him and 50% didn't like him. Before that, he was like an 80 to 100% likability. It's pretty obvious what's happening. Corporations are noticing it. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is noticing it. When you dive into politics and the country is divided 50-50, you're going to end up with half of it not liking you. This is bigger than just Biden. But the left also knows it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you the clip that you've probably heard a lot. Check this. Happy that you made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're gonna get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy and I, I believe we can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made 
uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. I'm not going to do that because what I realized, what that caused back then was something that tears me up in my guts back then and now, which is division. And that got me. And the takeaway after that, months and months and months, I started to realize like, oh man, that caused an incredible amount of uh, division in our country. So. I realize now going into this election, I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't do that because my goal is to bring our country together. I'm, I believe in that, in my DNA. So in the spirit of that, there's going to be no in endorsement. Not that I'm afraid of it at all, but it's just I realize that this level of influence, I'm going to keep my politics to myself. I so what's wrong with that? Now, granted, at the very beginning of this clip, he did break down and say, yeah, the country is in a bad place and I don't like where it is. Okay, that that could be subjectively viewed as I don't like Biden. Okay, but and that's how the left is taking it because it's a very emotional response. However, he's not saying that he's voting for Trump or endorsing Trump or voting for Biden or endorsing Biden. Again, this is what we dive into on the podcast episode today. What he's saying is I'm not getting involved politically now. This is where it gets really crazy for the left because the gun controllers thrive on division. They thrive on anger. They thrive on sanctioned hate. As long as it's a, approved and a value add to the left or gun control, it's okay to hate a person, right? That's the whole ethos. But he doesn't want the division, so he's backing away from it, which the left cannot allow. I'm going to do one more thing, and then I'm going to show you what the left is doing. This part set their hair on fire. I mean, like, there's just no other way to say it. Check this out. Look at this. Well, like a lot of us out there, uh, not trusting of all politicians, I do trust the American people, and I trust that whoever they vote for, that's going to be my president, and that's who I'm going to support 100%. That's going to be my president, and that's who I'm going to support 100%. And I trust the American people. The left and gun controllers can't trust the American people. They don't want to. They want the centralized control. So what Dwayne The Rock Johnson has just said is, I'm not happy with things the way that they are, and I'm going to back away from endorsements politically. That's one thing the left doesn't like. I'm going to get to that in a second because Sonny Hostin's coming up from The View. However, that second part where I'm going to support him 100% because I trust Americans and Americans will make the right choice and that's going to be my president, the left cannot have that the gun controllers cannot have that they have to have the emotional rage release in order to get the constituents to do what they want them to do if it's just oh we lost but i support him because he's my president which is a very american thing to do by the way you lose all your power over the npcs who are only saying orange man bad rage click go okay understand this is so much more massive than anything about just an endorsement of Biden or not an endorsement of Biden. This is about the left losing the power structure that they hold over the over the uh, the social media influencers, the uh, stars, the movie stars, all of it. They lose that influence. They lose the perception of bandwagon approach. Everyone's here. This is bigger. This is a watershed moment. All right. Now, let me show you how Sunny Hostin is losing her mind about this one. And it's going to tie into what I just said. Again, this is all reinforced a lot more in a longer form in my podcast, which is right down there. I need your reviews on, by the way, so let me know. I do think we're living in a time where um, we have someone running for president that is an existential threat to democracy. Yeah. Right? We, right, that, is, that is where we are at. Uh, someone who has been, has 88, you know, criminal charges uh, for indictments, someone that has vowed to be a dictator on the very first day he takes office. Now is the time, if you have a platform, you must be active. You must speak out. That's how I feel. And I, I generally don't, I generally don't think that celebrities should be forced to be politically active. Not forced. But right now, they have if an you have a platform, well, you have an well, obligation. You know, so, a little Freudian slip there, and this is how we're gonna wrap this whole episode. Not forced. For, forced is insane, but you do have an obligation to society and democracy. 
understand the left, Sonny Hostin, the gun controllers, Joy Behar, all of these people who are freaking out about Rock or the Dwayne Jackson, The Rock, whatever, saying this, right? She just said it in her own words. You have an obligation to defend democracy. Okay, so she's assigned her interpretation of what's going on as the absolute truth. And therefore, if you do not support that with your influence, then you are now against her. You are either 100% or 0%. There is no 99%. They have gone to the point of moral absolutism where they are going to start losing supporters on the daily because people are not going to get behind that because it's idiotic. The Rock showing that he can buck the system and say screw you to the democratic establishment and the leftist expectations of his support for political democrats that's a that's a big deal because if that falls apart they lose a significant amount of social power that they are not ready to give up and that's why I've got the for you, got for you. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments field below. Please check out that podcast, give me some reviews and let me know what you think of that style and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.